Hello everyone. Today I will be highlighting Glass Expansion's new high performance sample introduction system for single particle, nanoparticle, and single cell analysis. Glass Expansion's single cell sample introduction system is made up of three key components. A high efficiency nebulizer, a low volume on access spray chamber, and our patent pending microjet gas adapter. The combination of these proprietary glass expansion designs is what differentiates glass expansion's single cell sample introduction system from other commercially available systems and provides the ability to achieve up to 95% transport efficiency in single cell, single particle, and nanoparticle studies. Now let's take a closer look at these three key components of glass expansion's single cell sample introduction system. The nebulizer is a high efficiency design based on Glass Expansion's trademark Micromist nebulizer. The Micromist HE is a concentric nebulizer designed to nebulize limited sample volumes and single cell suspensions without compromising cell integrity at low argon gas flow rates. Unlike typical concentric nebulizers, the Micromist HE is designed to reach optimum back pressure at much lower gas flows. For example, it will reach the optimum back pressure at around 0.3 to 0.35 liters per minute argon gas flow. The optimum liquid flow rate has been found to be in the range of 20 to 40 microliters per minute, which is most commonly delivered by a syringe pump, as the Micromist HE does not self-aspirate. All gas and liquid connections are made by using Glass Expansion's metal-free zero-dead volume fittings to provide reliable, leak-free connections. The makeup gas flows through Glass Expansion's patent-pending microjet gas adapter, which shapes the nebulizer aerosol plume to reduce sample deposition on the spray chamber walls and greatly enhance transport efficiency. This is the key to providing such high transport efficiency, as other systems simply have a makeup gas port, which provides little to no effect on the aerosol plume, thus the reason for such low transport efficiencies. Last but not least is our low volume on access spray chamber, which directly couples to the ICP torch, providing the highest transport efficiency and excellent washout between samples. In addition to high performance, it is also important to provide a simple and reliable means of installation. This ensures that the single cell sample introduction system is properly aligned and supported on each instrument. Every glass expansion single cell sample introduction system kit is designed to suit a specific instrument model, which includes a mounting bracket support for the single cell sample introduction system. Shown here is our complete kit for the TOF work ICP TOF and the thermal ICAP Q, RQ, TQ, quadrupole ICPMS. Glass expansion part number KT1172. Glass expansion's single cell sample introduction system is currently compatible with all Agilent ICPMS models. The thermal Fisher Scientific ICAP Q, RQ, TQ the ICP TOF from TOF Work, the Perkin Elmer Nexion 1000, 2000, 5000, and Nexion 300 and 350 series, and the new Atom Multi Collector ICPMS. If your instrument is not listed, you can contact Glass Expansion directly at inquiries at geicp.com for information on the availability of a single cell sample introduction system for your ICPMS model. With every sample introduction system, the operating conditions should be optimized in order to achieve the best performance possible. The operating conditions of your sample introduction system can vary based on the instrument model, sample type, sample matrix, sample volume, and performance requirements. In the next few slides, we review the results of various optimization tests with the single cell sample introduction system. These should be used as guidelines so you can achieve the best performance possible with the single cell sample introduction system 
and understand each operating parameter of the single cell sample introduction system and its effect on the performance. We will review the optimization of the nebulizer parameters, gas flow rate, and sample flow rate in addition to the microjet gas flow rate. These operating parameters will affect the transport efficiency of the aerosol and with respect to the single cell analysis, the integrity of the single cells remaining intact during nebulization. The combined gas flow rate of the nebulizer in microjet typically is approximately equal to one liter per minute argon in order to create a robust plasma. Although a semi-demountable torch is not included with our single cell sample introduction system, it does provide an additional benefit of optimizing the performance of your ICPMS with interchangeable injectors using a single torch. In the final steps of our optimization report, we will examine the benefits of using a 1.5 millimeter ID coarse injector compared to a 2.5 millimeter ID coarse injector. Many ICPMS instruments are now shipping with a semi-demountable torch as the standard configuration. For example, the ICP TOF MS from TOFWork. Shown here is one of Glass Expansion's semi-demountable torch designs, which would be a direct replacement of Agilent's standard single-piece coarse torch. Glass Expansion manufactures many semi-demountable torch designs for those ICPMS instruments that do not have a standard semi-demountable torch option. It should be noted that all optimization tests were conducted on an Agilent 7900 ICPMS. For these evaluations, the ICPMS RF power and gas flow rates were kept constant. A sample depth of 8 millimeters was optimized via the auto-tune settings, and Glass Expansion's True Flow sample monitor was used to accurately measure and record the real-time sample flow rate. Although not shown today, the nebulizer sample flow rate was tested in a range of 4 to 100 microliters per minute, with the optimum sensitivity for most masses observed to be in the working range from 20 to 40 microliters per minute. Here we show a range of masses from low to mid to high to show the effects of nebulizer gas flow rate on sensitivity. The sample flow rate was kept constant at approximately 15 microliters per minute within the range observed to be the optimum. And the combined gas flow rate equal to 1.05 liters per minute. The nebulizer gas flow was changed in 0.5 liter per minute increments, and the sensitivity was recorded testing a range of 0.2 to 0.45 liters per minute. In our nebulizer gas flow rate tests, the optimum sensitivity for most masses was observed to be at 0.35 liters per minute. In this slide, we show a range of masses from low to mid to high to show the effects of the microjet gas flow rate on the sensitivity. The nebulizer gas flow rate was kept constant at 0.35 liters per minute, which was previously shown to be the optimum. The nebulizer sample flow rate was kept constant at 20 microliters per minute. In our microjet gas flow rate test, the optimum sensitivity for most masses was observed to be at 0.5 liters per minute. The 1.5 millimeter ID injector was most sensitive at a 0.35 liter per minute nebulizer gas flow rate and a 0.5 liter per minute microjet gas flow rate. Total gas flow rate equal to 0.85 liters per minute. Whereas the 2.5 millimeter ID injector was most sensitive at a 0.35 liter per minute nebulizer gas flow rate and a 0.85 0.8 liter per minute microjet gas flow rate, having a total gas flow rate equal to 1.15 liters per minute. This trend was similar for all 16 masses tested. We conclude our presentation with a comparison of the average sensitivity achieved with glass expansion single cell sample introduction system to another commercially available single cell sample introduction system we have labeled as brand X. The sensitivity ratio of glass expansion to brand X was averaged for 16 masses ranging from low to high at a nebulizer sample flow rate ranging from 4 to 100 microliters per minute. A 1.5 millimeter ID quartz injector was used with a nebulizer gas flow rate of 0.35 liters per minute 
and a makeup gas flow rate of 0.5 liters per minute. As we detailed here today, it is necessary to optimize all operating conditions for both the instrument and sample introduction system in order to achieve optimum performance. These optimum conditions should be used as guidelines and not necessarily recommendations. At the very least, a great place to start your optimization of your own settings. Thank you for your attention today. If you have any questions about Glass Expansion Single Cell Sample Introduction System, you may contact one of our three offices directly, which are listed here below. Thank you again.